Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. Today, Apple's released iOS 10.3 to the general public. We're going to talk about that and also briefly touch on jailbreaking. Now, the firmware has been in developer and of course, subsequent public beta testing for months, specifically since January 24th. Now, you might be wondering, what does the firmware actually bring to the table? Because it is a major iOS 10 release. Of course, the third major 10.x release. That's a great question. We'll get into the major features right now. First and and foremost, it does bring to the table Find My AirPods, which is a new feature that will allow you to locate your AirPods if they are outside of the case, just inside of the Find My iPhone application. So you have to download that app on iOS 10.3 and they have to be out of the case. If they're in the case, it simply will not work and they also have to be in Bluetooth proximity. Next, we have APFS or Apple File System, which is essentially a totally new format for flash memory. It could also free up some space when you do update to it, which is pretty cool. And there's a new system for developers to request app ratings, which you can opt out of inside of settings. That's pretty much it. Also inside of settings, there's something that I deem pretty cool. There is a new area up at the top that simply includes your name where you can tap on it and you can manage different iCloud, Apple ID, iTunes, and App Store related settings. It also shows you all of the devices that are currently logged in to your Apple ID and you can disconnect them that way, which is pretty cool. I actually find it to be very useful, but that's really all iOS 10.3 offers from a major feature standpoint. There are of course some other minor tweaks, but that's really it. It is definitely a major update from what we had previously being 10.2 and of course 10.2.1 but we do not have dark mode, which is what a lot of individuals were thinking iOS 10.3 would bring to the table, especially since we saw a night shift last year with iOS 9.3, but that just wasn't the case. A feature that's that big will likely be saved for iOS 11. Now, as far as jailbreaking is concerned, that's pretty interesting because of course, as many of you know, we do have an iOS 10.2 jailbreak for all devices that save the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, but that's basically it. We haven't really heard anything from from the main teams, specifically being Pangu on the jailbreak scene, and we might not, but this would be the perfect opportunity for them to strike and come back onto the scene with a new iOS 10.3 jailbreak. It has been quite a while, and we do know that their interest in jailbreaking hasn't faded. They've confirmed that a number of times, and they actually were able to jailbreak iOS 10 beta first before anyone else back at Mosex. So that was some pretty awesome stuff. We definitely know that they are, again, still in interested and that they could drop anything really at any moment. Now they, like the major jailbreak teams that preceded them, do not give updates, ETAs, or announcements as to what they're working on. They just simply drop jailbreak tools. So beyond that, we don't really know what their plans are other than that they probably will release another jailbreak some point in the future. We just don't know if it's now for iOS 10.3. I'll let you guys know though. So of course, click that subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until then, this is ICU signing out.